welcome to chemistry exam channel in this video we are going to discuss about dissociation of phosphorus pentachloride phosphorus pentachloride dissociates we will get phosphorus trichloride and chlorine so here we can fix the value 1 minus alpha 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 so alpha is the degree of dissociation of pcl5 if at equilibrium 1 minus alpha mole of PCL5 and alpha mole of PCL3 and alpha mole of chlorine. So total number of moles, what is that? These all are, we can add 1 minus alpha plus alpha plus alpha. What we will get? Minus alpha plus alpha will cancel. So 1 plus alpha we will get. So this is the total number of moles. So P is the total equilibrium pressure. So next we are going to calculate the equilibrium constant of this reaction. What is that? Kp is the equilibrium constant is equal to partial pressure of phosphorus trichloride into partial pressure of chlorine divided by partial pressure of phosphorus pentachloride. So, we have to first, what is the value of these all? So, pass, partial pressure of phosphorus pentachloride is, what is that? 1 minus alpha into pressure divided by total number of molecules 1 plus alpha next partial pressure of pcl3 is equal to alpha into pressure divided by 1 plus alpha next partial pressure of chlorine alpha b divided by 1 plus alpha this one so here i have written all the values partial pressure of phosphorus pentachloride this value, partial pressure of phosphorus trichloride this value and partial pressure of chlorine this value. So we can, these all values we can substitute into this equation. We can add what we will get. So this one alpha p divided by 1 plus alpha and this one alpha b divided by 1 plus alpha divided by what is that partial pressure of PCL5? So, 1 minus alpha into P divided by 1 plus alpha. So, we can multiply these two. Alpha square into P square. 1 plus alpha into 1 plus alpha. 1 plus alpha whole square. Here. So, this denominator it will go numerator because it's division. So, it will go numerator. 1 plus alpha divided by 1 minus alpha into P. So, P, P will cancel 1 P. Then, 1 plus alpha and 1... 1 plus alpha will cancel. So, what we will get? Alpha square into P divided by 1 plus alpha into 1 minus alpha. So, 1 plus alpha into 1 minus alpha is equal to the formula is there A plus B into A minus B formula. A square minus B square which means so A square minus B square. So, A square 1 square minus alpha square. This is the alpha square B divided by 1 minus alpha square this is the equilibrium constant of this pcl5 so now this alpha is less than 1 so what we can do we can omit the alpha square this whole what we will get equilibrium constant is equal to alpha square p so here we can calculate the alpha square value so this one it will come here here numerator then it will come denominator so kp divided by p so alpha is equal to alpha square is equal to kp by p so alpha is equal to square root of kp by p or we can keep it kp by p power of half either root of or power of both of them same so you can remember what is in this topic dissociation of pcl5 you can remember this total number of moles this value and then this equilibrium constant and then this value equilibrium constant value and alpha value so this kind of information you can remember they will give this expression then they will ask the what is that kp you will get so option a b c d they will give different way so you can choose the correct answer what is the alpha value what is the kp value if you like this video please share with your friends and please Subscribe our channel and please press bell icon of this channel. 
whenever we are uploading new videos you will get notification from this channel thanks for watching this video